Hey everybody, today I want to do a video about the cooling system I'm setting up on my second gen 4Runner with a 1.9 TDI ALH engine I'm installing into it. So hopefully this will help folks with kind of just getting your plumbing set up. It really is a cool thing to get your plumbing out of the way. So one thing about the Toyota pickups is they run an overflow bottle and the Toyota cap regulates that with with the pounds and you know once it gets up to temp and it gets too hot it blows off you know and if you're blown ahead gasket you know that deal but you, when you do the toyota to volkswagen swap you either pick your volkswagen or your toyota kind of bulb system it's i don't know i guess people probably do both but i haven't seen anybody or i don't know why it would make sense so Instead of picking the Toyotas, I always pick Volkswagens. So Volkswagen has this bulb. This top here is what controls that kind of pressure and stuff. But the TDI, it's not nearly as important as it is with the gas motor, it seems to me anyway. They, they, don't, they don't seem to overheat nearly as much. <laughs> Go figure. But the Volkswagen system is something you might as well run if you're running the Volkswagen engine. So the Toyota radiator works just fine as long as you just don't use this part of it. So, you know, cut this off and weld it shut or you can just block it off or do whatever you want. But this, all you got to do is have this be a cap. This doesn't have to be anything anymore other than just a filling reservoir and then make sure you're, it seals there good because you're going to have this thing instead. So, as far as hoses goes, there's nothing really fancy about your hoses. They might say seven millimeter, or five millimeter, or freaking 14 or whatever millimeter hoses, you know, it might say for this pump here, but this is five sixteenths um, non-fuel injection hose. I like to get non-fuel injection because even though it's non-fuel injection, it's still rated for 50 PSI. Uh, the most you're gonna run, I think, is like 17 PSI if you run a lift pump, but I don't, generally run a lift pump because I don't try to run over like 150 or you know 180 horses is what I figure and this thing sucks so hard you don't need a lift pump so you got your 5 16 hoses on here which is also the same size that's on your coolant bulb here so this top coolant bulb hose you run it over to a T that you purchase one side of it goes into See that little nipple coming off the side? That is a stock part from your TDI. And if you don't have that part, you can purchase it. But if you have the vehicle, you're going to have that part there. It's right there in the engine compartment. And if you have an automatic car, you're going to have an extra um, nipple coming off the bottom here, which you plug because unless you're running automatic and you have somewhere to put it but um, the automatics has something where it has an extra one here it also has an extra one on this uh, this metal pipe that goes around the engine I'll show you in a minute here but that part we're looking at is this part this hose goes all the way around to the back of the engine here there's a little bitty flange on it I'll show you and then it goes over to this bulb here so that's the stock configuration so that's how we're going to set it up on the Toyota we got a bulb, we're putting it into that little plastic flange area, and then it's going over to this nipple on the back of the head here. And so that's how you do your coolant bulb. Um, your radiator is really easy to do with the Volkswagen because at that same area that you have, there's that blocked off piece I was talking about. This same area, there's the radiator hose through your top of your radiator coming off the back side. And it is part number 20880. Um, I believe that's part of the part number. But if you Google that, it'll come up with the Gates part number, the complete one. It's like $23. I believe it's off an early Civic, like a first gen Honda Civic. It's a really long pipe that this is even only part of it. I've cut it off. And I've used this on swaps before because this one you can use on your top radiator hose and on your bottom radiator hose as far as I as far as I'm concerned anyway. It, it's not it doesn't have the perfect bends, but I think once it gets hot and cools down and it'll be just fine. And you gotta remember the thermostat 
on the TDI runs to the bottom of your radiator, not the top of your radiator. So don't make that mistake. It'll it'll work just fine, I'm sure, but it'll flow a little backwards and maybe give you some problems. I don't know. So your other coolant bulb setup hose is a 5 8 and it goes right to that metal pipe that's that's circling around the motor there. It's sticking out right next to your thermostat housing. So that's your bulb hookup. And like I say, after you do that bulb, you don't need this anymore. So then we've got our heater hoses on the Toyota. This is one side of them. And this is the other side here. And it feeds into the back uh, heater between the, in the back seat area there. So this, you just need to hook this one up here, goes around here to the side of the engine. And it's actually the back where that coolant flange is, where your um, temperature sensor plugs into. That's the same hose there. So coming off the back of your engine, put into that one there. And then coming off, let's see here. Coming off of this pipe here, that's the one that goes up to that one there. So we've got this one going to the metal pipe. This one goes to the plastic flange. All right, so after that, you know, there's not a whole lot else to, to have to do with this cooling system here. Uh, here's another one where if you've got an automatic transmission engine, you plug this, I can barely see it here, but on the back of the engine on that metal pipe, you plug this one here because you don't have to have it going to anything. It's, I think it's for an automatic, you know, uh, heat transfer or something. I'm not really sure, but. Well, folks, I, I hope that helps y'all out. That's my coolant setup anyway. Everybody does it different, of course. Uh, I think that this is a good way to do it because you're keeping your Volkswagen bulb. You're not trying to make a hybrid system with the two bulbs or I don't really know how to get rid of that bulb by the way that routing is. Uh, so just make sure you set your cooling up because if you do it wrong, you could have a hot pipe going into a cold pipe and then you might end up with some cooling problems. And I've had pr cooling problems before and I've always wondered, is that something because of my my hose routing or what? So this time I did straight by the books. I did folks did my TDI sitting right next to my swap vehicle and I'm doing it all the same this time. So, well, I appreciate you watching folks. Hopefully like and subscribe. We'll figure out some more stuff. Um, everybody does it different. So if you did it different, heck, tell me how you did it. But I think this is how I'm going to do it anyway. So thanks for watching folks.